Hey everybody, Corey Jenkins here with Aspen Grove Studios and Divi Space. If you've been using Divi for any significant amount of time, then you've probably run into this scenario before. An update appears in your WordPress dashboard. You look over all the cool new uh, Divi features coming out, bug fixes, things like that. You get excited, hit the update button, and before you know it, you go to the front end of your site and there's styling issues, things are broken, maybe some critical functionality is no longer working. Now, the easiest thing to do in that scenario is to roll back to a previous version of Divi that didn't cause those issues. Um, Divi does have a native rollback feature, but it only lets you roll back to the previously installed version on your site. And maybe you, you didn't catch it initially and the issue started several versions ago. And uh, within Divi itself, in your dashboard, there's no way to grab those previous versions. Also within the Elegant Themes website, they only have the most recent uh, version available to download. Um, so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you two extremely easy ways to download any version of Divi and get your site fixed. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna show you here how to uh, download any version of the Divi theme using this uh, really handy form that we created. Um, this will be accessible on Divi.space. And uh, this, is, this is by far the, the very easiest uh, way to download any theme version. Uh, so you can see here that we've created this form and you'll need a, a couple of pieces of information from your Elegant Themes account. One is your username and then your uh, Elegant Themes API key. You'll need your email address because it sends you a file via email and then uh, select the Divi theme version. So we'll, we'll run through this process. Um, one thing to note is, uh, you see here, we do have the email opt-in list. You can untick that, and if you do, um, you won't be added to our, our uh, email database. And I also wanna mention that any of the information submitted here uh, is basically erased after you complete this form and you receive the email. Uh, the form submission, uh, the entry fields are erased, so we're not storing any of your uh, any of your sensitive data like your username and API key. So let's go ahead and run through this form here. I'm going to put in the uh, Elegant Themes username for the account. Enter the API key, my email address. and select the Divi theme version. I'm going to run back here, let's say to 4.14.6. And I'm gonna opt in here uh, to, the, uh, to the email list because I love receiving uh, very handy tutorials and bits of information like this. All right, click Submit. Okay, so you can see here that that is uh, completed. The email has been sent to you and, um, and the information in our system has, has been erased. And so then just head over to your, uh, to your email and you'll have an email that looks just like this and just click to download and you'll have the file. Um, so, so from there, hopefully this helps you fix whatever issues that you're having, upload it to your site and fix it with one of these older Divi versions. And uh, we hope that you really enjoy this form and, and find it as helpful as we do. Thank you. Okay, so here I'm gonna show you a, uh, a really cool and uh, very simple way to download any version of the Divi theme. And you will find this uh, tutorial under our uh, snippets and tutorial section of Divi Space where we have all kinds of, of helpful, helpful snippets uh, just like this one. So down here, uh, we, we have some information that you'll need to get started. You're gonna need uh, the version of the Divi theme that you'd like to download. You can access the, the Divi change log under your elegantthemes.com user account and view the Divi change log uh, if, if you need to go back in time and grab that version. You're gonna need your Elegant Themes username and also your Elegant Themes API key, which can also be found under your elegantthemes.com user account. Okay, so down here, uh, you can see that we have this, uh, this very uh, kind of short text snippet here. Nothing too crazy. And then underneath it, we tell you uh, which variables you're going to need to swap out. You're going to, uh, in the text snippet, change the version. You're going to change the placeholder for the username and also the placeholder for the API key. So we're going to copy this, uh, this snippet here. 
and open your text editor. Um, I, here I'm using brackets. You could use anything from uh, your notepad to a Word document, whatever is easiest for you. And uh, here is where we're going to uh, swap out these, uh, these different uh, variables that we have here. Uh, so first you can see that we have the Divi version equals, and then we have version right here. Okay, so there, it, that's where we're going to take out this placeholder and put in the version that we'd like. Uh, going back in the, in the change log, I've determined I'm going to go back to 4.14.7. Okay, and next we have uh, username. And here you can see where it says equals username. That's where we're going to uh, paste our Elegant Themes username. And here we have uh, API key. So this is where we're going to take this placeholder out and we're going to take our Elegant Themes API key. Let me open up my notepad here and grab our API key. Okay, and we're just going to paste that in there. Okay, and after that we copy this amended text snippet that we put in here with our information. We are going to paste this into our browser bar. And boom, just like that, you can see that I now have the, uh, the Divi file that I've requested from elegantthemes.com. And I can download this, upload it to my site, and hopefully fix whatever issues I'm having. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And we hope that you find this tutorial easy to understand and extremely useful. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more future tips and tricks like this one. We'll see you soon.